In this video, we'll bring observation wells into our model and run the model. We'll start with a shape file of observation wells, which we'll bring into GIS layers. Make a coverage. These are head because they're observation points. These are locations where we have measured the groundwater. These may go into layer two. And then we'll also choose to use the well screen. Right click. Observation wells to observation wells. We have the name, we have type, top screen, bottom screen, and the groundwater level measurement, that is the observed health head. You will probably not have these other columns, don't worry about them. Let's check the attribute table. We see our points were brought in as none. These need to be OBS points. We also see some points that are outside the model or on the edge. We'll turn these off. These points will switch from OBS to none, so they're not used in any of the calculations. In this model, we'll use 1.5 for the observed head interval. In some models, this may be 10, it could be 5. We'll be using 1.5. To map the wells into ModFlow, right click and map to ModFlow. In other videos, we've mapped these coverages, but let's just make sure. River, map to ModFlow. Recharge. ET. The drain. And we should see them here now. We can see the different recharge rates. We don't need to open the array. We can see different ET rates. Let's double check the surface. Right click. The ET surface should match the land surface elevation. Currently, it's zero. Let's take a 2D data set to the array, and we'll choose the land surface elevation from the DEM. Now we see values that look more like a land surface elevation. Let's run a check. This warns us as to possible errors in the model. This warning you may see, don't worry about this. Warnings are in green, errors are in red. We have a warning that a well flow rate is zero. This well is very close to the boundary and right next to the river. So we won't worry about this, that's okay. We'll run ModFlow. Always save your changes. That's this well here outside of the model, that's okay. Even though we turned it off, 
it warns us that the well is outside the model. We've converged. We see groundwater level elevations or groundwater head and our observation wells are shown here with error bars. Please see a different video for an explanation of the observation wells and the error bars.